Well, that's it. I'm frustrated with NEO and many of you are frustrated with NEO for sure. Good earnings? The stock doesn't move. Lucid just started deliveries and it went on a run. Rivian hasn't delivered a thing and it's gone parabolic. And it can't just be a Chinese stock thing because Lee has run too, but NEO has gone nowhere during all of this. And looking at the comments section, many of you have sold or have started selling or are planning to sell. So does that mean you should sell too? I started tax loss harvesting, you know, did Neil make the list? I'll answer those questions and walk you through the entire scenario so you make an informed decision in exchange for just a gentle tap of that like button. And if you don't have a plan for every stock you own for next year or you don't know how to make one to keep you from making the fatal mistake of panic selling a great stock or FOMO buying a hype stock, and you want to learn how to create that plan, do a proper valuation, and have a strategy for every stock you own, and have a support group there to help you every step of the way, consider joining the Market Insiders private group where the Black Friday sale was extended through Sunday, and prices will never be lower than that again. You get access to four courses that teach you planning and valuations for about 97% off or so if you join, and you get full access to me, my watch list with price targets, my buy and sell alerts, live weekly Q and A's, exclusive videos, and a ton more. Just check out the pinned comment down there for all the details. And before blasting me for promoting it, I have no ads, no sponsors. This is what YouTube pays me in a month, and I give half of that and half the group's proceeds to charity. So let's walk through the four considerations I personally take into account before selling any stock, and we'll use Neo as the example since you know that's the stock we're talking about today. First. What was my long-term plan with NEO stock? Am I making decisions based on price fluctuations or based on the plan? Remember, I also plan my exits as well and just click this video up here for when I would take profits in NEO or sell NEO in general, but you should also plan your exits to the downside as well. And unless something changes with the business itself, I usually have no interest in selling. Price movement and buying and selling around those are trading strategies, but I'm a long-term investor, so the fact that a stock is flat or down for an extended time is not enough by itself to have me sell a stock. Tesla traded flat for six years. Apple has traded flat for a year or more at times. Same for Amazon and almost every other stock out there. And I know that I'm an investor, not a trader, so I know that it's just part of the journey. A big year one year could mean a down or flat year the next. Your upfront planning and continued refinement of your plan should guide your decision to sell. And that may be the right call and it may fit your plan to sell or it may be the emotions talking. But only a well thought out plan done without emotions can act as a great mediator to help guide you. Not me, not any other YouTubers, not anybody else. That plan is the best mediator for you. Second, what has actually changed with Neo stock? Was there a fundamental change with the business or not? Did a key management team member leave? Did the guidance on an earnings call indicate a shift in the business that could change my projections? Is there a new regulation that will affect the bottom line? Did you find out the cars only work when being pushed down a hill? I'm sorry, I just couldn't resist. It just, it just kind of seemed to fit right there. But what has fundamentally changed with the business? Third, what is my plan after I sell? And that's just as important as my initial plan. Okay, so you decided something did change for you in your analysis. Or maybe you bought based on a hype channel and you didn't know what you bought. Or maybe you were just no longer comfortable owning Chinese stocks. Nothing is wrong with feeling any of those things and deciding you want to sell. But what are you going to do with the money? What is your next stock or investment to buy? And what is your valuation for that stock and your full plan for that new stock to include entry and exit points. Are you going to sell and buy the dip or try to time the crash that I've been hearing about that has been guaranteed to be coming since the summer of 2020 and then the fall of 2020 and then after the election and then again this summer and then again in October? Are you perhaps maybe engaging in market timing? Well, you honestly won't know until you plan out what you will do with that money. And fourth, Think about how you will react to the following scenarios. How will you react if you sell NEO now and it runs up to $50 again or even more than that? How will you react if the stock you bought instead is just flat during that time or even worse, it goes down? I mean, will you be inclined to sell and try to buy back into NEO? How will you react if they're both down? Going through these thought processes before you do anything will help prepare you to deal with them and plan for it more importantly, no matter what actually happens. You are going to be prepared. So did I sell NEO as part of a tax loss harvest? No, I did not actually, as I'm actually up over 30 plus percent on my NEO shares I bought this year. So it would actually be taking profits if I decided to sell. 
Now, I'm not really worried about neo dipping or staying flat for an extended time as I know that is part of investing and I'm long the stock, so time is on my side. I knew about the vice structure and the inherent risk with Chinese stocks overall, and I have mitigated those risks, which you know you can check out this video right up here for all the details on how I choose to do that. I sleep very comfortable at night with what I have and what I've mitigated and how I chose to mitigate it. But on the flip side, I'm also not going all in either. And that is because there is unique risk to NEO that is not there with other stocks that are not Chinese stocks. If we're all being honest here, it could go to zero in a flash, although I don't think that will happen. So slow down, I'm not saying that's gonna happen, but it could, so there is no way I would push all my chips in. The good news is the stock has been beaten down for so long, the kind of rubber band is getting tighter. So when it does run again, it will be a strong run most likely. But you also gotta remember that rubber band can stretch a lot further than you think. So you have to be patient. This is where having a long-term mindset and plan pays off. Bottom line, I completely understand why someone would want to sell their NEO stock. There are many good reasons to sell a stock from fundamental changes to a specific tax situation or simply acknowledging a mistake. So there's nothing wrong with it and I'm not hating on anybody that chooses to do that. But please plan it out and look at all the factors or you will fall victim to just selling on emotion and then you'll probably start buying on emotion and that is a recipe for doing a lot of tax loss harvesting every year in the future. So let me know what you're doing with your NEO stock. I mean, are you selling? Are you buying more? Are you just holding? Let me know down in the comments what you're doing. I'd love to hear. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.